Okay, so something I wanted to show you quickly, is how to convert from LUT long to XY. Cause sometimes you want to know things in muted, so you can see in this file, I've been working with my X and my Y, is degrees east and degrees south. And so maybe I want to calculate distances, I want to get these into meters. So how you would do this is you go click on coordinates. New coordinate projected, new projector coordinate system. What is your current X and Y? So my current X and Y are already selected by default. I click next. It says what is the current coordinate system. So I just said it's geographic cause it's that long. I click OK. And then I've got to decide what is my new coordinate system. So the most common one that we use it in meters is UTM. So you can see I've said X, UTM, Y, UTM. You could maybe even put what zone you gonna be in here. I know in South Africa, and we were just around Gauteng. Johannesburg, that would be zone 35. So you gonna have to just go on the net. They are just type in Google UTM map. And you'll get a map of the different zone. Then it'll give you an idea of what zone you are in. I click next. So now this is a little bit more complicated. So now UT MIS are projected. So I click on projected. My datum is WG S84. So if you, if it's not already coming up, you'd have to scroll down to WG S84. And then I've got to go through this list to find UT M at the bottom in South Africa. We also use up at the top here. You can see South African server. And these are different zones. The zones are different to UTM zones. So you'll have to find out about that too. This is a local coordinate system. We use a lot of the mines use it. Although in just some of the things are swapped around a bit. So that's why it's really safest to just use UTM. The most common one. So I go down here and I click on zone 35. I know I've also been working around Cape Town which is about 1,000 kilometers away from Johannesburg, and further west, and then I would be using zone 34. So you really just need to check what is best, for the city or the town that you're working around. Click on OK, and you can see here it's added in the columns. But there's two stars. What does that mean? It just means there's not enough space to display. All of the decimal places, it's not really necessary to have. All these decimal places, you can reduce that. This is just the defaults. I click on the heading if I want to change it. Right click edit over here. You can change the number of decimal places and put it down to four. And I can do the same for my Y. And sorry edit is what places we're down to. So for OK. Now that I've got things in meters, it's quite convenient, cause now I can calculate distance. So I want to calculate the distance along this profile. How I do that is try remember database tools. Channel tools and then make a distance channel. What I want to use to make the distance channel, I don't want to use my exit X and Y, because those are my left lungs so they're in degrees. I want to use my X and Y which are utm, and what I want to call the column the, yeah, a column where I'm going to put my distance values, I just call it this click OK. It should appear here. If it doesn't appear click in one of the blank headings, right click list and then it should be. You should be able to choose it from a pop-up list. Sorry and so these are your distances in meters. Cause it's calculated from your UT, M and this can be quite useful now too, for displaying in your plot below. So if you right click on your plot, you go X axis options, and you choose the distance column, and click OK. You can see it now displaying distance along the bottom, and so that gives you a better idea along each profile. And to be able to compare them, something I can also do here, I'm gonna right click the X axis, and I'm gonna go take off this auto rescale, so that when I jump through my lines, I click up here and I go page down, it keeps the same distance going along, so you can see this line, are obviously cut shorter than the previous lines. And I got a bit lazy in the afternoon, and then this is where our data started pulling apart, so it's just a nice way to be able to compare lines, something like this, um, we actually stopped taking readings here, because there was cars or houses instead, it looks a bit weird, so the data's, and the computer's just trying to connect the points, okay so that's how you change the x and y, from being that long to being in meters, and you can do it completely, or so in the other direction, you can go from meters to degrees,